Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here at the, well, the new day is already well underway. Of course, airports start their days very, very early in the morning. But here at Ajax Airport in the, somewhere around Birmingham, probably in the UK, uh, it's just gone, well, it's just approaching half past nine on the very first day of year three. Uh, now, we're doing reasonably well. Uh, though, although our finances do look a little bit tight here, we've currently got, oh, we've gone up a, a few pennies. We've got about $43,000 uh, or pounds. No, they're pounds, definitely pounds in the bank. But we are losing money. Actually, it's not too bad. Our current average loss over a 24 hour period is 797. Uh, I'm taking great comfort though from the daily figure that we lost less than 20 grand yesterday compared to over 140 grand uh, on a 12 day average. So things are improving. I just need to keep this um, flight schedule thing busy. Very, very busy indeed. Uh, I've been trying to do that off camera as well. Actually, talking of off camera, one of the things we're about to do today, um, I don't remember if I mentioned this in the last episode, but in the episode before that, we were putting down these new tier two security scanners. I, I made a bit of a mess of it. For one thing, I put one scanner in twice. So I think it was this one here, the drug scanner. I wish you could click on them and it would tell you what they are. But it doesn't, does it? Rename? Small specific, no, no, I don't, wait, well, no. Be nice if you could click on it and it would tell you. But the icons there, yeah, that looks like drugs. Uh, and I put uh, this one, which is money laundering. Yeah, I put drugs in there instead. So I've rearranged this slightly. And what we're just waiting on today, which should arrive fairly soon, is tier three of baggage security, which means we can put an actual person, a manned desk in here as well, to do a final check of bags that have been marked as bad or suspicious, a final check before they are sent through to the Annihilator or, or sent onward to, to be picked and put onto the aeroplanes themselves. Uh, I'm also hoping to do more in terms of adding that much promised <laughs> vintage stand to the airport, but I'm not sure if our finances will stretch to that. Uh, not not immediately, so I may have to sort of fast forward a bit, and and uh, so I can accrue the wealth to do that. Because how much are those stands? They're not cheap, are they? Is this a stand? Yeah, the vintage stand. That's fifty grand. The the stand itself, with nothing else, that's three grand more than I've already got than I've currently got in the bank. I could take out another loan, but the fact that loans cost me. Uh, that's daily balance, isn't it? Yeah. The fact that loans cost me nearly four grand every hour. Actually, that's just that loan. I suppose a different loan would cost me a different amount. But yeah, they're, they're, they're expensive. Anyway, uh, so we're just waiting on that. Everything else appears to be looking at working okay. Janitors, no. So yeah, I seem to have the right number of staff, the right number of vehicles. What I'm really disappointed with at the moment is Olympic Airlines, or Olympus, right? They're called Olympus, aren't they? Uh, are they called Olympus? Yeah. They're only give, giving me medium flights. Now, I brought them in to give me large flights. <laughs> so, in fact, if we go through our schedule, uh, we'll see most of our large flights going forward are from Crown. Which is fine. Which is fine, but it would be nice if Olympus actually gave us something. So we're busy there. Apparently, I think, I've only got a small ATC. Where is it? Uh, there it is. That's a small air, tra air traffic control tower. So I can only handle 25 flights a day. Though, interestingly enough, the flight capacity here says, if you can just about make it out, I might zoom in on this, 23 out of an infinite number. But I thought the maximum was 25, so it's not exactly infinite, is it? No. <laughs> Whereas Friday, I could squeeze another one in there. I'm not quite sure where. I'd have to rearrange flights, and I'm not going to do that. Could do with some, but the, ah, 
I want some small flights from Goosewing because their stand is getting a bit empty. Their small stand. You know, the one slight, again, I think I mentioned in, this in the last episode, is kind of disappointing or frustrating that I can't put, for example, large aircraft on, sorry, that I can't put medium aircraft on large stands. So if I'm getting no large aircraft, then I can bring in more medium flights. I don't quite understand that limitation, but it's, that's in the game anyway. Uh, and I do want that research to finish. I want to get that done. Okay, I will run this forward and I will join you on the other side of a rather sexy video effect. And we'll look at putting in tier 3 level baggage security. See you in a moment. Okay, it has been completed. We do now have tier 3 baggage security. Which, oh, if I click it, it doesn't tell me anything. Completed projects, is it in here? Scroll down. Oh, it doesn't explain what it is anymore. Oh, no, no, it does. It gives me that tool tip thing. It unlocks a scanning station, which is the important thing, I suppose. Yeah, okay, that that's fine. So our live research... Uh, it, uh, right, we're going to move people into researching these Maverick trucks, which are the faster ones than the Fjords. Okay, if I put you in there. I actually did employ temporarily an extra administrator to help make this baggage security faster, but we don't need them for this research, so I could dispense with their services. So, can you skill filter? You can't sort them by wage. You can't sort them by anything, really. I suppose you can do that. Skill factor sorting. Uh, so, okay, so who have we got green? It'd be nice if you could sort them. So, you're orange, 16 and a half. Eight, ooh, you are. You're expensive for not very much. Performance, really, aren't you? You're not very perf performant either, are you? Okay, we'll fire Lena Becker. Sorry, my dear. There you go. So that gives us our six uh, members of the admin staff. So let's have a look at this new security desk. I have, uh, off camera, extended my underground here because what we need to do is... As I said, this is a manned desk, so we need to be able to get a man, a person, <laughs> we need to get a person down here to handle this scanning station. 15 grand, my goodness. Okay, so this needs to be in here. So I've done that so I can get people, get the staff down from the staff zone here in the terminal. So what I'm thinking is if we could put this in here, so presumably the red line which you can just about see there, going down, if I turn it around, is that, yeah, that must be the bad bags. Okay, so, ooh, I've got an empty zone there. <laughs> Dear, oh dear, that could cause me problems. Uh, so, if we put you... Hmm, actually, ideally, you'd be something like that, wouldn't you? That would work. Uh, it needs to be a secure zone, obviously. So that <laughs> little empty blob is causing me problem. Okay, let's do that again. Uh, security. Conveyor belts, actually, not security. We could put you in there, and I want the bad bags to go up. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so we want conveyor belts again. Uh, we just want the ordinary ones. And you will go rotated up that way. And then rotated that way. Okay. And what we also need is some stairs. So I need some stairs to get a member of staff. I, I assume that's just one member of staff there. I hope they can clamber over conveyor belts. Because <laughs> they're going to have to. Uh, yeah, so we need some stairs. Uh, there they are. I could use an elevator. Escalator, rather. But, uh, yeah, stairs are cheaper, and that's all we need here, isn't it? 
So I think we'll have you coming down into this. So up here, uh, the L just about, yeah, just about in the end of this little corridor. So if I put you there, that works perfectly. Crosses different zones. That's right, it does. Uh, so that's as okay. Do I? Mm, and may not be usable for passengers. That's fine. We don't want passengers to come down here and use this. Uh, so in fact, what we'll do is we'll make this whole area secure. I think will that work for me? Let's see what happens with my my good construction people. Start building it. What are they going to build first? Oh, they're coming out to do this. That's cool. Right, good, good. Oh, I ought to employ another security person as well, shouldn't I? Just to make sure I don't run out. Uh, security officer, who have we... Oh, they're all a bit rubbish or expensive. Struth. Okay, Magdalena. Come on down. Okay, so we'll just delete this bit of conveyor belt once they've built this new station. That should be, should be all we need to do. And that's the job done. Excellent. So if I just can, actually, you know, if I do it this way, so conveyor belt, conveyor belt, and then control delete. Control, 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 control. So that should then automatically send it in there. Yeah. And then either onwards to baggage, to the baggage bay, or out to the Annihilator. Yes, it has to be said like that. It's, it's, not, it's a contractual obligation. Honest, Gulf. Excellent. Right, so you're in. Oh, you've obviously made, made it down the stairs somehow. <laughs> It crosses, so I know it does. That's fine because that is actually a staff zone. So passengers can't get in there. C can I get rid of that? Uh, could I make that a staff zone as well as secure? Ooh, let, let's watch this. Is it going to do anything? Ah, no, 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 no. Oh no, that's right. No, that that's a good bag. Sorry, I was confused. That's that's a good bag, isn't it? Yes. So it go, yes, it, if it's bad, it goes out onto this central channel. Yes, I am. Go, I have got it right. Oh, ooh, excellent. He's doing stuff. It appears to work. Excellent. Uh, right. As I, I was about to say, can, if I make this a staff zone as well, does that help? It's supposed to cross different zones. Um, could I make it? What if I make it secure as well? Okay, it's it's happier with that. I think. Okay, cool. Uh, this is just bare concrete, I think, down here. But I mean, my folk don't mind it. Okay, where are we? Let's uh, have a look. We've got 53 in the bank. How are we doing actually on the economy? Uh, oh, our average daily loss has gone down. This is a good sign. It's going down. The loss is going down to $85 over an average of 24 hours. Uh, yeah, currently we're up 15 grand, but that can turn around quite quickly if we're not careful. But yeah, that's that's uh, looking good, I think. Uh, what was I going to? I was going to do something then. I'm sure I was before I had so rudely interrupted myself. I was going to look at the flights here. Do we have any large ones? Still no large flights from Olympus. You are annoying me now. I'm going to have to start cancelling your contract. But then again, then again, you are off. I am. Sorry, I am charging you just the bare minimum for our first contract, whereas with Crown we have renegotiated. So you do pay me more for your flights. So that's I'm happier with that. 
Actually, one thing I was thinking of playing with, I can now turn on the auto planner, which enables automatic scheduling of offered flights. Flights will be scheduled in the next available slot. Requires board members Ku and Chu. Uh, that's the chief operation, the chief operations officer, and the chief information officer. I think that's what CIO stands for. Let me just double check what the game thinks it stands for. Um, when, uh, don't go in there. Where are you going? You want to go to staff. And where's my executive committee? Committee. There you are. The uh, coup. The chief information officer. Gosh, I was right. Well done, that man. Good, good. Yeah. But, I, I've, but it doesn't actually tell me what it will actually do. So I've, I've got lots of flights here which are available. So will it take all of them and try and squeeze them into the schedule? Let's, let's try it. Let's see. You know, we've got nothing to lose. But our chains, apparently. Yes. <laughs> or our freedom. One of the other. Uh, yeah, I, um, ooh, who was it? Was it Omka? Uh, I can't, or Oogly? I, I do apologise for forgetting and probably miss misnaming your YouTube ID. Uh, yeah, someone commented uh, after I think the last video, uh, I ought to repair these stands because they do look very unsightly and the air airlines and the other companies won't be very ha impressed by that. I could, I, I could do that, but the game automatically repairs them at 25%. And I think as I have said before, I do wish the, the game would allow me to adjust that so that my uh, operations guys were scheduled to repair them at a higher percentage, so I wouldn't, would not let them get down below 60%, for example, of condition. It would look better, and it would mean there'd be less of a shock horror moment when it takes 30 grand out of your bank balance to repair all these stands and runways in such poor condition. It would uh, yeah, mitigate those sort of huge swings in your bank balance. Oh, talking of swings, we're in profit this last few hours. I'm at 67,000. Result, has my baggage handling improved? Ooh, uh, no, where's, where's the incorrect baggage one? Uh, which one is it? Uh, good question. Baggage correctly destroyed, 76%. That's excellent. So our person down here, in this very lonely role. Who is it today? Fiona is doing a grand job of making sure that uh, only the bad bags go to the Annihilator. Uh, right, um, so what I'll do, let's uh, fast forward this a bit and I will join you probably uh, tomorrow. We're getting to nine o'clock today, so it's uh, 12 hours so far have passed. I do love how busy this is. If only I could afford to put... I could put... Could I put two boarding desks? Actually, could I put a different boarding desk? Is there a larger one? Boarding desk. There's a medium. Is there a large that might be available? To get people through more quickly. But they seem to be coming through okay. I'm not seeing any reports from the airlines that they are being delayed because of slow boarding. Look at that, see, I've just lost 13 grand. But of course, nearly four of that will be the loan repayment. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop waffling, move on a bit, and we'll see if we can get enough money to start working on a brand new stand for our Ajaxima Airport. See you on the other side of this equally sexy video effect. And we're here, just, uh, just another day day two of year three so we're pretty much uh, a day on from where we were at the start of the episode our report emails are starting to come through our research actually is about to complete for our maverick trailer trucks and we're doing reasonably well i've got 84 grand in the bank and if we look at the economics here our average hourly profit is actually now a profit two and a half grand very nice indeed and our daily loss is uh, well, the average over twenty over twelve days has gone down from one hundred and forty-three, was it, 
to less than 140. So that's rather good. Yesterday we made nearly 33,000. Today we're already at 24,000. That's all rather nice. And if we look at the flight plan, now which you may recall I set to auto. Uh, just, a, just before that sexy video effect. <laughs> it does appear to be working. And my um, officers, my executives, are placing flights. Though I have one little gripe, and it is, to be honest, my own fault, to be fair, is they're filling the slots up, but they're putting different airlines... They're, putting, they're mixing airlines on the small stands, which I wasn't doing. I had sort of... By manual intervention, I had only put certain f airlines, like Goosewing here, on stand three. But I hadn't actually defined it explicitly as such. So my executives, seeing a spot here, said, Ooh, we can put uh, Trident on there as well. Yeah, they can. I'd rather, rather they didn't. So I do need to configure those stands a little bit better. We'll do that in a moment. Actually, can I do that here? Oh, I'll have all I can. Yes, yeah, so I can change that to Goosewing. There you go. And this one here would have been... Yeah, this is the Trident one. So this is just Trident. Okay. And this one here would have been a Forest. That's it. That's the small stance. I was actually also setting this medium stand here to be Trident, uh, sorry, to be Crown only. Uh, so we might as well do that. Crown Airlines only. Okay. And we're going to leave the remote stand as anybody. Uh, likewise, the large stand can be used by anybody. Though at the moment, only Olympus, <laughs> not, not that they do, and Crown are giving us the large flights. So that's looking good. One other little thing I noticed here. Oh, it's put the symbols on the, the the airline icons on the stand panels here. That's good of them. Yeah, look here. Flight capacity 26. 26, it says. Even though if you go into aircraft infrastructure and look on the ATCs, it says there, does it not? 25 flights a day. I think my executive, uh, my board, are getting a bit carried away. Uh, hopefully, uh, my little small ATC will be able to cope with an extra one flight per day. Now, I did kind of promise earlier, before that last sexy video effect, I should stop calling them that, I suppose, that I would add the, uh, the vintage stand in here. I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do though is that we're going to plan out what I'm thinking of doing. I was thinking I'd put it in here. Have them boarding this remote bus stand here. Which I planned but not uh, not built as yet. But that, is, that doorway there is being used as the access route into the international lounge for, uh, for the large flight. Actually, can I... Uh, that's international zone... I think that is just this bit here. So this bit here is just ordinary public land, secure zone. Uh, so I was thinking actually of building the... Where was it? Building the the, the, the departure area for that new stand. I'm putting that out here, uh, down there. That's... Oh, I do wish... It was obvious whether you're in planning or uh, or actual construction mode. This this little menu here just does not work terribly. No, oh, it says planning mode very briefly there. It doesn't usually do that, honest gov. <laughs> but it says construction there now, so I, I you see I get confused. So if I put you, uh, how big do we want to make it? Will that be enough? I think it will. Right, so that's where we will put that little lounge in. But what I thought I might do is make use of a new technology we discovered a few, a couple of episodes ago, which is the uh, tilt thing in the conveyor belt system. The tilt tray. Uh, here it is. Because I'm still concerned 
that having one baggage claim carousel here is, isn't is enough for the number of flights I've got it coming in. So I've been planning out putting a new belt in. Now, do we have any flights that have just arrived? Uh, what are you doing? Have you... Your baggage loading. Okay, so I think I've got a few moments free where I can link this up. I uh, did discover a little bit of a bug. If I put the planned conveyor belt in here and actually connected it to the existing conveyor belt that we've already got here, obviously that's what existing means, it would actually start moving bags onto the planned conveyor belt. So it's not really planned at all. The game thinks it's really there. So that's a little baguette which I think I will need to report to the team at uh, Apoapsis. I think what we need to do is demolish that bit of conveyor belt. Uh, conveyor belt, that's it there. There you go. And I will delete this bit here, I think. Okay. And we'll put our tilt tray in there. I'm assuming that I know how it works. And I want to be in proper building mode now. There you go. I think. I just wish it confirmed what I was doing. Okay, let's move the game on a little bit faster. I've also occasionally put in a few more toilet cubicles. Because I was getting a fairly lowish score from passengers for, in terms of facilities. Right, so that's gone. So can we put in our tilt tray? Tilt tray. If you go in there. Okay, and then the conveyor belt can come down there. That's good. And then we can build all that. Splendid. Uh, that's not connected. That's fine. That will be connected once that tilt tray is in place. Now, can I then make this a baggage claim area? Can I extend this one? Cannot be built on other... Ah, this is this deeply frustrating system where you can't <laughs> can't extend existing rooms. Uh, control delete that okay and put it in again so if we make that all baggage claim and hopefully that will do the trick uh, enable that that's good again just wait for my guys to come along and build that and we should all be good what are you complaining about can't go somewhere Again, I think the problem is is when you're changing areas that were or that are on a person's pre-existing sort of route. Okay, can I do anything with the tilt tray? Okay, uh, connect baggage bay. That one. Aha. Uh -huh. That's good. Uh, that that was the whole room though, wasn't it? So it's not actually the tilt tray as such. Ooh, forward and left, isn't it? I think. Or to destination. Not sure what that means. I'm not sure. Uh, there's no easy way to look up. Help, you've got to kind of go to the out to the websites or the wikis or the steam forums okay well, we'll see how that actually works see if it does work which <laughs> should be nice wouldn't it but we need some planes to come in oh you've come in and you're going to have lots of baggage to get rid of aren't you uh, uh, it's not telling me anything about baggage there oh baggage boarding not mm. okay oh what's this A conveyor belt in this baggage area cannot be reached by the connected baggage bay. Why not? Oh, is it going in the wrong Oh, no! It's got a direction on it. Bother, I hadn't noticed that. Um. Heck. Okay, we're going to have to do... Oh, this is frustrating, isn't it? <laughs> 
I'm sure it did tell me to be honest, so this is probably just my mistake. So if I delete that, oh, it does have arrows on it. I can you can see them there. Yeah. Oh, hell. Got to wait for the guys to delete that before we can put the new one back in place. Ah no. I hope that little strip there is just because the error here. That is right. That's okay. Right. So that should now. Yeah, that's going through properly. Good. Phew. And the exclamation mark has gone, even though it's not actually built yet, but... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can I act... Oh, forward and left. Like... Seems to be okay, I think. No errors. Magnificent. All we just now need is for some bags to arrive. Do I not have any aeroplanes? Oh, look, I've got $102,000. So I could start building this, couldn't I? Yeah, let's build that. Let's build that while we're here. Then that'll be ready for me to start using in the next episode. We're honestly, honest, Gov, we will do... <laughs> The, uh, the additional vintage stand. Uh, what's our research? This, has this been finished? Well, it has finished already. Okay. Oh, yes. I've already lined the automation one up. So this will give me self-check-in, baggage drops, self-boarding, and automated passport check, which I think are all good things. So, yeah, that is most definitely worth doing. Yeah, we need to just assign staff, you fool. So we will take them off that. And we will put them on here. All six of them. Uh, that's it. And this will take another day. 24 hours. So that should be ready for the next episode. I want to see this baggage bay working. Just to prove that I haven't royally messed it up. <laughs> like I did when I first set it in motion. Yeah, that's fine. The baggage bay is connected. Yeah, it tells me it's already done. Yeah, that's good. Come on, guys. We must have some baggage. Ooh, there's a window there. Don't need that. Uh, so we can get rid of that. Uh, walls. Control. Delete that. That. And that. And the window. Are oh, you a? S You're a small window, aren't you? Yeah. So we can delete you as well. Okay, they're waiting for something here. Hopefully, to put bags on yet for delivery to the baggage claim area. I like how busy these seats are. If there's lots of people in the airport, I assume that I'm making money. Okay, we have been waiting here for several minutes now for bags to come in. To be delivered to... Ooh, what, what, what's, what's wrong with the baggage? Are we not getting baggage? Is something messed up here? That's turned on. Definitely turned on. You're definitely enabled. But that's saying you didn't get baggage. Okay, that's quite possible if you arrived before I fixed that problem. Okay, right, we need our next flight to arrive. Where the heck are you? Okay, so we have a flight arriving at our large gate. No, the baggage has gone. Ah, oh, heck, what the... No. This is doing... Ah. It must be that tilt tray thing. To destination. Is that what it needs? 
I mean, everything appears to be working there okay. Everything's in the right order. This is very disappointing indeed. What about this plane? Baggage, baggage. No! Why ever not? You are connected. Reconnect it to... Oh, can't do it while you're handling. Okay, what about this one? Reconnect. Already connected to that object. That's fine. I haven't... Uh, is it the operations? Where's the operations? There you are. Baggage serving... is enabled. Yep, that's good. I really don't know. Maybe I just totally misunderstand this this tilt tray thing. I mean, I do have members of staff coming here to the baggage bay to do something. So why are they not doing it? This is very strange. Right, it's going to take me a little while, I think, to sort that out. And that, well, that's a disappointing way to end an episode, isn't it? <laughs> Nonetheless, I hope you've managed to enjoy this. Yeah, we have got some things done. But no... Oh, you people are looking for luggage. But it doesn't appear to be coming in. This is too weird. Okay, well, anyway, yes, as I was saying, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better, though, if you've got any thoughts, any hints and tips, any ideas why this has suddenly screwed up. Yeah, if you've got anything to say, please do drop it into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one. Hopefully one that works of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Airport CEO. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.